This is the second video of CDS annotations which we are using to build a theory application. In our last video, we have created this simple application using CDS view. And uh, now in this video, we will be adding some more annotations to this application to enrich the UI. So very first annotation which we will be using is uh, displaying some header over here with the number of records which are getting loaded into this table. So for that, let's go to our Eclipse and uh, this is our CDS view which we have created and uh, to show the header information something onto the header there is a UI annotation which is UI dot header info and uh, in this couple of uh, properties are there uh, in which uh, the type name what you want to show as a caption over the table so we want to show a word connection and if there are multiple records then the there is a plural as well which can be connections so let's activate it and refresh the app So now if you see we have got the caption with plural connections and the number of records which got loaded here. So total of 14 records are there. Now the second annotation which we want is uh, uh, before that we want to add another column here which will show the airline names and the airline names is available in one of the table SCARR so let's first add that column into this column at the first location so for that we need to add association here with uh, SCARR table and uh, how to do, do that is just go here and uh, put association and what cardinality you want to use i want to use one then two through which table scarr table i want and uh, give an alias name as underscore ca R -R -I -E -R underscore carrier and on which field you want to connect it so on dollar projection so which field of projection it will be carrier id for spfli is should be equal to underscore carrier dot uh, carrier id so this will be our association here and uh, now we need to make this association as a public so this is how we do that public associations so now all of the fields of this table will be available here so now what we want to do is we want to add a new field here about this which is our underscore carrier dot and uh, carrier id as no carrier id it should be carrier name as air airline name okay and uh, we want to add it as a first column 
so we will be copying this and make it 10 and give no caption is needed okay so airline name would be there activate it activated and uh, now refresh okay so now we got the airline and with all of these names available here now the next ui annotation which we are going to use is a search annotation so we will be adding a search box here and uh, that will work on one of these fields or you can add to as many as will you want so we will be adding a search box here for uh, searching the records into this table so for that what we need to do is we need to add a annotation in the cds view just before starting the define view so the search annotation is search and uh, searchable is equal to true and the minimum requirement to work on this annotation is it should have a default field on which it can search okay so if i try to activate it 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 is activated but this will not work we need to have a default field available on which we want to run this search criteria okay so we just have added this airline field here and we will be adding the search default search element we will be making this airline name as a default search element so for that the annotation is search and default search element is equal to true so now whenever you will type anything in the search field the it will it will try to search that particular phrase in this column the career name column okay now there is another annotation for this so sometime what happens is when you are typing on the search field you do a typo so there must be something which system understand that it could be a typo and it still matches some of the records into the table so for that we have an associate uh, annotation here which is search and fuzzy threshold this threshold has a limit from 0 to 1 so 1 is a maximum means full phrase has been identified in the search criteria okay and 0 is none has been identified so we will be keeping it to uh, like 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 maybe okay so this is all we need to apply the search field and activate and refresh okay so we got our search field here and this search field will work mostly on this column so let's try to search ameri and search so we got the american airlines and then uh, let's try a l so we got this airline and uh, let's try to search with uh, gap we got Japanese Airlines okay so this is how the search work that's all in this video and in our next video we will be seeing some more UI annotations and we will be making 
this view will list report application much more rich thanks for watching and if you like the content please do subscribe thank you